morning, ma'am. <laughs> How you doing? I, I don't mean to be nosy, but what are you doing here? Catching speeders, ma'am. This here is my post. Well, this here is also my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I heard somebody was moving back. Guess the rat race of L.A. didn't work out, huh? Sorry about the relationship. <laughs> Listen, Officer B. Arthur. It's actually Barney, but in small town law enforcement, that's not a name you really want. People tend to poke fun. And they let you slide with B. Arthur? <laughs> Listen, I, I, I'm going to say this as tactfully as possible. You're not welcome here. A coffee. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Mmm, hazelnut. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, dear. When did you get up? Approximately 7.02. <laughs> well, it's your first day home. It's OK if you slept in. We've all done it. Yeah. <laughs> Will you excuse us? Mom, Mom, yeah. he, he can't stay here. Oh, B? Oh, he's a lamb. He'll never even know he's there. <laughs> oh, we got one! Oh. oh, shoot. Kitty just ate the last of it. <laughs> Coffee? Please. It's also gone. Well, this is a fun game. That's OK, Mom. I don't need any coffee. I'm wide awake. Something about an armed man on a motorcycle outside my window really jump starts my day. He has got to move. You get used to it. Anyway, I think your sister has a little crush on B. Arthur. It's funny, mine was on Adrian Barbeau. <laughs> I'm serious about this, Mom. Oh, I have to get to Jazzercise. If I'm two minutes late, they'll be on at leg warmers. Ooh, I can imagine the pressure. <laughs> anyway, don't concern yourself with Officer Arthur. You have a new life to start. I mean, think about it. You've got to ship your stuff out here, and you've got to find a job, Missy. A job? I just left that whole high-pressure world behind so I could find out what makes me happy. I need to sit by a stream for a little while, like in the book Walden. I need to have a little me time. I don't think that's for you, dear. <laughs> no, face it, you're, you're a doer, not a thinker. <laughs> you know, even without a report card in front of me, that still stings. <laughs> said you were at the stream figuring out what you're going to do with your life. Well, I was. So what'd you come up with? I figured out that the road less traveled is buggy. <laughs> hey, you have any bug spray? That would be aisle one. <laughs> is that aisle one? That's her. <laughs> OK, maybe I'll go and take a look and try to figure out why she has a number. <laughs> so mom told me you're looking for a job. She did? Mom said that? Well, for a second there, it seemed like she was listening. Well, FYI, the Claritin guy's quitting. He drives a really nice van, and he's never stuffy. Well, as appealing as that sounds, I'm in a whole different place right now. I just need to gather my thoughts while I sit on a rock or 
a little foldy stooly thing. Even better. Fourteen dollars. Give me a break. Oh, no, I didn't mean you had to. Well, that is better. Oh. Hey, do you have Walden Pond? No, we just carry the regular ponds. And it just went on sale. No, I actually, I, I meant the book, but, oh, I'll take two. I think I'm just going to stop by school and see if they have a copy there. I should go by and say hi to Rusty and Mr. Munn, let him know I'm back. And it's on the way to the stream anyway. Did you hear what happened at home? Some hooligan knocked our mailbox down about an hour ago. I don't know where B. Arthur was. Oh, well, I guess they moved him. Why would they move him? I don't know. I may have called and said, move him. <laughs> well, gee, thanks a lot, Ellen. I had a crush on him. I think he was getting ready to ask me out. I had him moved, not fired. If you want his attention, just run a few stop signs on the way home. I'm sorry, I'm back. I need my privacy. Fine. $18. What happened to the discount? What happened to B. Arthur? <laughs> Uh, you moved back to Clark? Yeah. I was actually just looking for your locker. I was going to leave a note, and then I remembered you're a teacher. Yeah. Actually, that's still my locker. <laughs> you just tossed away the old life, said, I'm starting over right here in a little old Clark. Yep, I did. Think that's a good idea? Yeah, I mean, it's just temporary. So, you know, until I figure out my next step, I'm just looking for some inspiration. Well, all right. Um, often in life, we go through changes, I guess. Okay, I'm not... I'm, I'm sorry. Not not from you. I was actually looking for the book Walden. Oh, that's good, because I had nothing. <laughs> well, look how that works out. Ellen. Hey, Mr. Munn. Hey, I heard that somebody decided to chuck it all and come back to the bosom of Clark. Yes, I did. <laughs> well, 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 welcome back. Thanks very much. I'm going to grab a copy of Walden, if you don't oh, mind. Sure. <laughs> Isn't it great? I got my Ellen back. Uh, Newsflash, Rusty. She's hopped the net and swinging a new racket. <laughs> uh, Ellen, word has it that you're going to be uh, driving for the Claritin people. I can't wait for you guys to get cable here. <laughs> you know, uh, we have a guidance counselor position open. Oh, no, I don't think so. Why not? You were a teacher right out of college. You still have your credentials? Uh, I'd have to check the pocket of my Gloria Vanderbilt jeans, but yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really great at talking to kids. Hey. Hey. Oh, that went pretty well. chills. <laughs> well, I watched the MTV, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I appreciate all the concern about my employment situation, but I think I need to explore some options before we just jump right back in. Yeah, to, to, to take a job that they uh, earn in a year what you used to make in a month. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. No, 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 no. I, I, I know what you mean. You know, why slum it in the public school system when you can break it in in the private sector? No, I, I really wasn't trying. Hey, it's great to see you again. <laughs> well, I should get going to the stream. I mean, wasting time. You know, I mean, this soul's not going to search itself. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hey, give me a call later on. You know, I will. You know, I was thinking, why don't we just have lunch or something before I head back to the stream? Oh, I don't have time. I got to prepare for this class. Oh, come on. Surely there's a six-foot-tall, muscular blonde that could squeeze in a lunch with me, huh? I'm sorry. No can do. <laughs> I got rope climbing till three. Rain check? Walden, chapter one. I do not propose to write an ode to dejection, but to brag as lustily as Chanticleer in the... <laughs> to brag as lustily as Chanticleer in the... <laughs> 412. Walden, chapter one. I do not propose to write an ode to dejection, but to brag as lustily as Chanticleer. Chanticleer? Chanticleer. I bet that's like a chicken. That's what it is. It's a chicken. I'll tell you something. I wouldn't mind a Chanticleer salad sandwich about now. No, just got here. Focus. No need to start the book right away. This is your life we're thinking about. Take some time. Think. What now? 
What now for me? What now, my love? Who was that? Vic Damone. That's right, Vic Damone. Married to Diane Carroll. Or was it Diane Cannon? Nope. Nope, she was married to Cary Grant. I wonder if Hugh Grant is related to Cary Grant. All right, think about your life. Hugh Grant's doing great. I would have thought that hooker thing would have hurt him. <laughs> well, the press is pretty forgiving when it comes to people's sex lives. <laughs> all right, all right, you've got a life to figure out. One more crack at the book. Golden chapter one. I do not propose to read this book right now. <laughs> Hey! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just take it easy. I'm trying to think over here. That's what I'm doing. I'm thinking also. Well, I'm, actually, I'm reflecting. It's harder. <laughs> I'm reading Walden. That's nice. Well, back to our thoughts. What? I didn't say anything. I thought I heard something. I don't know. I just... Look, I'm kind of going through a tough time right now. I, I left my job and... You left your job and what? <laughs> Sometimes it's good to talk about these things. Ah, it was just a big mistake, that's all. I got mad, I, I, I said some things, and... Now you don't know how to get your job back. <laughs> Sounds to me like it's a little bit of false pride. Not the kind of thing you want to change your life for. So what do you do? Hmm? You suck it up. You put on your best coat and tie. You pick up a little apology gift. I'd go with a honey-baked ham. You walk in there and you say, I screwed up, I blew it, I'm sorry, but I want my job back. Maybe. Definitely. I know what I'm talking about. I ran a company in L.A. before I moved back here. I had just gotten out of a relationship, so there was nothing really to keep me there, and except for the job, and then where was the joy in that? What was I doing? I mean, was I helping anyone? Was I contributing? Was I letting my life just pass me by? Where was I going? Where did he go? <laughs> just as well. I need to get back to my thoughts. <laughs> hmm. Here's a thought. I'm hungry. I didn't say anything. Oh. I thought I heard something. I, uh, I don't know. Uh, back to my book. Oh, Walden. I read that. Did you? Yeah. It sucks. Oh, well, it's not an easy read. No, it's got the ye old language, which makes it uh, difficult, definitely, to, uh... Yeah, it does suck. <laughs> Why aren't you in school? <sighs> Suspended. Why aren't you at work? Oh, that's a, it's a complicated question. I just wanted to do something deeper, more meaningful with my life. You want to throw tangerines at the statue? Yes, I do. <laughs> OK, first one to hit old man Clark on the nose wins a hamburger. All right, you got it. Although, this is not really fair, you know that? Why, because I'm a guy? No, because I've been throwing fruit at this guy since he was alive. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo! Wednesdays at 7. Huh, it changed it. Oh, hold on. All right, you two, put down the citrus fruit and move away from the tree, please. Wait, right, the cops. Don't worry about it. What can they do? Huh? No big deal. Uh-oh. This isn't good. 
<laughs> hey! B! Arthur! Hey, long time no see. Ellen Richmond. Remember from this morning from the bedroom window? Oh, yeah, I remember. Boy, for someone who gets up so late, you sure don't waste any time when it comes to getting cops relocated, do you? Oh, well, about that, and I'm glad you brought it up. Also, I, I specifically, I told them in the new location it should be an excellent, comfortable, shady is what I specified. Oh, oh yeah, they're shade. I'm right under that big honkin' oak tree now. Yeah. Look, look at my helmet. It's covered in oh, sap. That's oh, I got an acorn down my shirt. Let me help no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> you two are both going downtown. Downtown. Right here? Yes, ma'am. I'm getting water. Clark Police Station. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, no. I'm sorry I got you in trouble. Ah, if I only would have read that stupid Walden. Yeah, I still think he's overrated. What's a Chanticleer anyway? <laughs> It's a rooster. <laughs> yeah, no, I know you and I know, but... <laughs> Overrated. <laughs> yeah. uh, did you ever read any Herman Hesse? <laughs> yeah, I think I read the start of one of his, yeah. <laughs> Siddhartha is a really cool book. Why were you suspended anyway? I threw an apple at the mascot. You have a hard time hanging on to fruit, don't you? <laughs> yeah, well, the mascot gives me the creeps. Yeah. Cougars shouldn't ride unicycles. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you go back? Uh, well, it's supposed to be today, but I'm kind of thinking of blowing the whole thing off. School's so boring. Yes, it's boring. That's why it's called school and not Six Flags. <laughs> you have to go back. Yeah, but I don't even know what I want to do. You don't know what you want to do. Well, who knows what they want to do? Very, very few people, very few lucky people know what they want to do. You got to be doing something until you figure out what it is you want to do. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah. You know, when I talk, I make sense. <laughs> when I'm quiet, I can't figure anything out. But when I... <laughs> Do you know if Hugh Grant is, uh, is uh, related in any way to Cary Grant? <sighs> your mom's here. Besides, school's got to be better than being picked up by your mom at the police station. That's got to be embarrassing at your age. Ellen! <laughs> To Pete, when you have nothing to do, you cause so much trouble, honest to God, making me come all the way downtown. <laughs> Ellen, I am so glad that you decided to apply for the guidance counselor position. Well, it took six mosquito bites and some time in the slammer to figure it out, but I think I want to do it. <laughs> Terrific. Now, just be aware, young lady, you'll get no special treatment from me. I'm going to treat you like any other applicant. Oh, I expect nothing less. All right, let's start. Name, please. <laughs> Ellen. Ellen. Very pretty. Okay, this is ridiculous. Displayed a bit of attitude. <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. You got me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just fooling with you. Oh. Listen, come on. I want to show you the room that'll be your office, and you're going to have to picture it now without the asbestos and the mops. There's no John, but it's near one. And it's really handy to... Excuse me. Get that off your head! Hey, hey, my friend from the stream. What are you doing here? Well, I took your advice, and uh, I'm here to get back my guidance counselor job. Oh. About that, uh, let me 
tell you about the good folks at Claritin. <laughs>